Welcome back. My name is Moose Henderson. And today we're photographing some trumpeter swans again. They're out here on a pond that's part of a farm field. So come along as we photograph these swans and I go over some photographic tips. photographic shoot is to plan for what you would like to plan what you would like to photograph and one of the things I like to record is the wing stretch and in order to do that you need to make sure you have enough room in your viewfinder for the complete stretch of the wing so it doesn't extend outside the frame <laughs> Uh, of course, you have to set your exposure. You have to make a determination if you want the wings to be completely frozen or partially blurred, and that determines partially your shutter speed. If you want to completely freeze them, then you need to have a shutter speed up around a two thousandth of a second. If you want them to be partially blurred, then down around 500th of a second or so is okay, even lower. But you'll find that you spend a considerable amount of time watching for that behavior. You have to be ready at all times. The bird does give you a couple of clues. When he does his wing stretch, he has both legs extended, not just one. And they kind of prepare for it. It's kind of hard to describe, but the EOS R camera does not have a super high frame rate. It will shoot at five frames a second. So with that kind of frame rate, you need to do a little bit of planning in order to get the peak of the action when the wings are completely outstretched. Because if you just burn and go, without much pre-planning, you may completely miss the peak action. So I tend to wait for the peak action and then shoot that specific shot instead of taking a chance of catching it by just laying on the shutter and recording everything that I can. I would also like to have a water background behind the entire bird. So I have set my car up in a position that where the birds are feeding, there's water behind. Here we go. Very good. So there's water behind the entire bird when he does his wing stretch. So that way I don't have the land cutting the bird in half at some point. 